NBC7's nightly check-in is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood, and Restoration. We know how. A La Jolla family says they were racially profiled and verbally attacked while on a walk to the beach last week. It is the latest reported attack on Asian Americans since the start of the pandemic. Thank you for joining us for the nightly check-in. I'm Catherine Garcia. He had white people and not Asians. I'm not sure, ma'am. That is only part of the confrontation Jane Wu recorded on camera. Wu lives nearby and says she was walking with her husband and one-year-old daughter last Thursday when they were stopped by the woman in the video. She started making a beeline toward my husband and whispers in his ear and says, uh, why do Muslims behead white people and not Chinese people? And so my husband was like, okay, just, just ignore her. She says the woman followed them across the street. That's when she started recording. It broke my heart, essentially. And, and I think even standing here now, um, I do feel like triggers of like, is someone going to come up behind me? Is someone going to just start randomly, you know, accosting me for, for no reason? That's not the America I want to live in. We reported the incident to the Asian Americans Advancing Justice Organization, which says it has received 3,000 similar complaints since March. It's been three days since the election, and of course, we still do not know who our next president will be. As you can imagine, the uncertainty has a lot of people feeling anxious. Many people we spoke with today say they're feeling optimistic about former Vice President Joe Biden's lead, while others say they are holding out hope for President Donald Trump. I'm a Democrat. Go Democrats. I think we're all going to have to ride this out the way we're riding out COVID-19, the way we're riding out uh, everything being a little strange in these days. I truly believe that God will intervene, and I have a confidence now that things are going to work out for Trump and really for America. For now, the country continues to watch and wait. Turning now to the coronavirus pandemic and some staggering new numbers. Across the country, more than 122,000 new cases have been reported in the U.S. just today, surpassing yesterday's previous single-day record of about 121,000 cases. This marks the third day in a row that the U.S. has reported more than 100,000 new COVID cases. Here locally, 480 new cases were reported today. That's out of more than 13,000 tests. It's a daily positive rate of 4%. There are five new community outbreaks, making for 27 in the past week. Three more San Diegans have died for a total of 907 deaths. The Vista Unified School District is delaying the return of in-person learning for two high schools after reports of hundreds of students attending two large Halloween house parties over the weekend. The school districts learned that students from Vista High and Mission Vista High attended the parties and were not social distancing or wearing face masks. I think these kids have been bottled up for a long time and they need to get out and be with other kids actually is what I think. If those students come back to campus, they could endanger other students and our staff members. Both of the schools were already doing full online learning because of positive cases among students. They were expected to return to in-person learning next week, but now as a precaution because of all of this, the district is delaying that return to November 16th, basically to allow for a two-week quarantine period following the Halloween weekend. A couple inches of rain over the weekend could certainly change a lot of plans for San Diegans, and it could also impact all those restaurants who count on outdoor seating during the pandemic. Almost complete, just doing all the finishing touches. Ryan Peak is the operations manager at Mike Hess Brewing in Imperial Beach. Their open air concept worked really well, they said, in the last eight months, but it's not the greatest when San Diego gets rain. We do have the overhangs, um, the, the sail cloths, and we have the overhang second level. I think it's still going to be hopping. All right, let's get to Dagmar now with your first alert forecast. I've been telling you pretty much for the last several days now, three, four days, it's going to feel very much like it is finally November, even like you're, you might be in the Christmas spirit. Why? Because take a look at this. The coast, you're going to be in the low 60s. You've got a really good chance of showers on and off all day, as does uh, that inland valley zone. You'll be in the upper 50s for your high. Look at the mountains. You're high in the upper 30s. Anything that falls overnight is certainly going to fall as a flurry or two of Christmas, pre-Christmas snow, and ending up seeing the deserts at right around that 60, 70 degree mark. You're going to end up seeing sunny skies, but don't worry, there's still a chance for you to get some rain in this mix as well. For now, this is just Saturday. This continues for Sunday. NBC7's nightly check-in is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood, and Restoration. Call 1-800-BILL-HOWE. Bill Howe. We know how. Drains clogged or slow? Call
call Bill Howe today. Whether you need a routine drain cleaning or something more, Bill Howe can solve all your plumbing needs. For a limited time, we'll clear your drains for $82. 1-800-BILL-HOWE. The man convicted of driving drunk off the Coronado Bridge and killing four people down below is now out of prison. Former Navy Petty Officer Richard Sapolio served only two years, 10 months of his nearly 10 year sentence. You may remember what happened. It was in October 2016 that Sapolio drove off the Coronado Bridge and crashed into Chicano Park where people had gathered for a motorcycle rally. Sapolio got credit for good behavior in prison, which qualified him for early release under the new COVID-19 release program. Chula Vista has announced the opening of the first legal commercial cannabis business in that city. It's called Grasshopper Delivery, and it says it specializes in sustainable green business practices and uses low emission vehicles and biodegradable packaging. It was back in 2018 that voters approved Measure Q, which authorized commercial pop businesses. A total of 12 cannabis retail operations are allowed there in Chula Vista. Grasshopper is delivery only right now, but it expects to open a storefront by spring. That is going to do it for our nightly check-in. Have a good night.